The Lodge. ceremony. Thank you for joining us. But before we can begin, we need but a number between 1 and 100. 31. 30. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. 31. Oh, Lord. When I think of the number 31, I think about how I'm 32. <laughs> <laughs> and Lord, I think about the day my girlfriend and I were conversing in bed. For some reason, she thought she was 35 for about 10 minutes. <laughs> and I had to look at her very strangely for about five of them until she realized she's only 33. And oh Lord, when I think about people forgetting how old they are or where they are, I think about young children and how they say very clever things. And Lord, when I think about people who say clever things, I think about my cousin. <laughs> He's an asshole, but he just says the funniest stuff all the time. So, Lord, thank you for asshole cousins. The Lord, when I think about the funny things the children say, I think of my own child. I think about how no oh, one oh. wants to hear stories about your child. <laughs> no, Lord, when I think about stories I don't want to hear, I think about when I was younger and my father would show slideshows to people, and then it was that, like every cliche was coming true. That, it was clear to me at a young age that no one wanted to see it go down. And I kept thinking, like, why am I the only one who sees this? Why, why is Daddy mean to people? <laughs> and oh, Lord, when I think about Daddy being mean to people, I think about um, when he was sort of pushing me. I was doing bicycle motocross, and it was really exciting and fun. But when, when I did bicycle motocross, it was actually racing, Lord. It wasn't this like going on a half pipe or anything. It was actually you got on a bike against a group of other people and you rode to a finish line and you could win or lose. And so whenever I mention that now, people are like, do a trick for me. And I'm just like, it wasn't like that. <laughs> I feel old, Lord, Lord. So Lord, thank you for BMX the way it used to be. <laughs> Lord, when I think of slideshows, I think the slideshows that my dad used to put on when I was a kid, and I would think many of the same thoughts, except uh, none of those slides were really about me. They were mostly about my dad and, and the amazing pictures that he would take when he would go places, and I just remember sitting there and dragging on and on. I kept thinking to myself, the same thing that John was thinking. I bet you 40 years from now, I'm going to be in a troop with this guy who's experiencing the exact same thing that I'm experiencing right now. Lord, when I think about, uh, when I think about transcendental experiences like that, I think about, I think about traveling, uh, I think about backpacking in the backcountry, how much I love to get away from my Blackberry and my flip phone. That's right, I have a flip phone. And, uh, and how it's just such a, a, a muscle relaxing most effective muscle relaxants that I've ever taken. So Lord, thank you for muscle relaxants. <laughs> oh Lord, thank you for assholes. Thank you for BMX the way it used to be. Thank you, of course, for muscle relaxants. Lord, thank you for the number 31, but most of all, thank you for the Lodge. 31, 31, 31. Oh! Slides of our camping trip. This is where we went water skiing. Tommy broke his knee. He was by himself, so he broke his knee. It looks like Bob has been going to happen. Uh, this is the one where we lit a campfire and sang folk songs that no one knows the words to. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, I just This is the one where we got attacked by a bear. Mm, yeah, shit got crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't I don't fend for my children's lives, I just photograph them. What does it kill them makes them stronger? This actually killed one of them, case in point. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this is the last 
one in the roll. This is where we went canoeing. <laughs> that, things got rapidly out of hand. Uh, my sons are very affectionate. They just lost a brother from the bear. There was a lot of physicality. Anyway, I'm gonna shut this off. <laughs> I, I was listening to you, I just, I lost you halfway through what you were saying, so if you wouldn't mind repeating to me, so I can understand you better, okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I blinked very quickly, <laughs> and I really got distracted, I had a, a zinger in my head, just really quick. Will you go over it with me one more time? You had a zinger? Yeah. Like a ho ho, like a Twinkie? In your head? Is Why are you thinking about desserts? Is that a thing? Is Zinger a ho ho or Twinkie? Apparently not in your world. <laughs> I just meant there was a, a bolt from my chin to my brain. Apparently it's a delicious treat as well. <laughs> its deliciosity is certainly debatable. Much like your request for the car. Okay, that, that's what we were talking about here. Yes, yes. that is in fact. Would you, if you wouldn't mind repeating one more time, can I or can I not have these keys? No. There's a no. lot of noise coming no. through. Uh -huh. Negative. Hey man, if you want to be cool, you got to put processed pastries in your head. <laughs> Twinkie, I'll open your ear, yo! I'm sorry, I lost <laughs> After you said cool, I zoned out for a second. <laughs> if you oh, I'm sorry. It's, can, uh, I'm if you put processed pastries in your head, you'll score with chicks. I like that, yo. Check it out. Look at this. Look at this. I'm oh, smashing it into oh, his ear. Oh, and right now, you can smell the ladies. I just got a sex. I got a sex. <laughs> no. That text says, let's have sex. Right. <laughs> have sex. <laughs> Where did that? I, I, last thing I remember was you had a candy. Oh, or, or take this home, home. Rub it in the side of my face. <laughs> yes. Rub, rub it in the side of my face. Rub it now. Rub, yes, rub it Should I open the packaging? Yeah, if you want to. Procedure is not important. Now put it in the face. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Oh, oh, hold on. I'm blowing up. I'm blowing yeah, up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Don't worry. We'll have sex later. I'll hit you back. Riders, please enter the starting gate area. Riders, please enter the starting gate area. The race will start shortly. <laughs> <laughs> really nervous about this. This is going to be incredibly hard. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> where's where's Jim? <laughs> Where, where's where's Jim? Jim? That's not Jim. Cool where's Jim? Yeah, I don't know. He's not here today. Well, no, he's supposed to be here. He said he was running a little bit late. There was there was traffic. There was traffic coming. But this, this is like a traffic. This is a fucking race. So we can get <laughs> this is a This is this is a father daughter race. <laughs> Can't have a father daughter race without a daughter on your back. You tell him, Steve. You tell him. Why don't you just rotate daughters? Oh, under no circumstances. Oh. <laughs> I saw what you got at the Christmas party. I'm not rotating my daughter with you. <laughs> hey, come on now. I have a little bit too much to drink. That's not fair. We need to get this race started. I yeah. need your daughter. <laughs> One of those things is not like the other. <laughs> you had, oh, I'm sorry, you had too much to drink, so this very race has to start? You're racing drunk? You're what? Racing. You're racing? Hold on, sweetie, get off, get off, get off. Get off. Get off. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I'm racing drunk. <laughs> and a daughter race? What if your daughter climbed on your back and, God forbid, you fell over? <laughs> you're ruining it for my future. <laughs> I'm not even my daughter. John's daughter is not very articulate. <laughs> I think you guys are confusing me. I came here to race, and you guys are chickening out, finding all kinds of excuses about mutilating my daughter and being drunk and <laughs> stuff I did to your daughter. Jim, Hardy, you know, Jim, Lord. you smell like bourbon and you're sauced. I want you to go sit in your car for an hour and call your daughter. How did he even get here? Who even knows? Daddy, what does mutilate me? <laughs> well, I'll talk to you about that later. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't think I want to be a part of this BMX club. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 that, no, you're not rewarding that. No, no, no. You're not slow clap anyone. You can't quit. You can't quit. You signed a contract. I have it here in the back of my pants. I'm gonna be in this BMX thing, signed you. Ned's always overprepared for situations. <laughs> <laughs>
I have an elaborate filing system in my pants. The point is, you're either in or you're out. He's always like drinks on hair. Whoa, whoa, he's very aggressive. Oh my, he's so strong. <laughs> Honey, get in the car. Yes, you too. I just told him about your hair. We're gonna have words with Jim. Yeah, I just told him about your hair. <laughs> you just threw over our father daughter hey. stallion. That was a. That was a. <laughs> uh, 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 okay? It was really expensive. Yes. You know the finish on that alone is gonna cost $1,000. Do you know how many birthdays did you ruin for me just now? You know how many birthdays did you you don't you don't have to clean up. You don't have to clean up. Look, it's really sweet that you stayed, but like I can I can clean up beer bottles myself. So it's gonna be okay. That's well. And I've cleaned up I've cleaned up vomit, I can do that too. That's what really go home. Go home. It's like the metro's gonna close and like the metro already closed. <laughs> Shucks. Do you need money for a cab? I can give you money for a cab. But seriously, stop picking stuff up. In today's episode of The Morning After, <laughs> we have Robert, a young bachelor, and Bobby, another young bachelor. <laughs> Watch what happens now. Look, just here, here give me, give, give me the mop. Give me, come on, give it to the... <laughs> um, listen, look, if, here, do you, need, do you need money for a cab? Here, look, the door is right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, I see something over here. <laughs> Can you, I don't think you got all of it. I don't know. <laughs> Sexually suggested comments on the playground to everyone level. 
<laughs> you're going through what's called puberty. <laughs> your body is changing. You're going to start to feel differently about women. Yeah. You're going to grow body hair in places you didn't expect. Like my ears? Wearing gym shorts and become uncomfortable when it's cold. Yeah, or that happens. <laughs> you know Susie in 8th grade homeroom? Yeah. She makes you feel feelings, right? Yeah. <laughs> Those feelings are called becoming a man. And one way you can deal with those feelings is slip her a note that says, we're going to make love. Slip her a note. You would not be that cool if you were not. Okay. Okay. Can I show you the next picture, please? Can I show you the next picture? Yeah, go ahead. This is, this is, this is Robert Jr. and his sister, and they were they were about to jump in the pool, and then Robert pulled his pants. <laughs> it's my boy. Yeah. 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 He's not your boy, he's my boy. Wait a second. Oh, are we family or not? This is, we're family, but okay. All right, let's go back to the pictures, okay? So this is uh, another picture of our vacation uh, where Robert, was, Robert Jr. was planning an assassination of uh, um, character. Um, and, and his sister was uh, practicing her YMCA dance. <laughs> she often goes. The three year old was practicing assassination of character. Yep, he's a character assassinator. Nice. Boy. I should have had this here besides. I don't know if we're going to fill the house tonight. I don't, I don't know. This is... Look, you're, you're stressing me out the way you're pacing. The way I'm, I'm following you deep. I want to have this conversation you keep walking away from me. You know I feel uncomfortable about direct eye contact. Look, this is, this is not the time to have this conversation again. We have money on the line. We're going to lose everything if this show does not go on tonight. Please, let's brainstorm some ideas. Okay, um, let's, let's, go, let's go over it again. Do we have the props? Yes, we have the props. Do we have the actors? Yes, we have the actors. Do we have a lighting guy? Guy, lights, done. Do we have a play to perform? Got all that too. Do we have a venue in which to perform? Yes. I feel like that's everything that's involved in theater. <laughs> Did you advertise? No! No! I just figured the emanations of our art would attract an audience. 
emanations of our heart. Yeah, you know how when some plants germinate, I forget. Shut up! What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, look, look, look. Um, why don't, why don't we like, I text 30 friends and you text 30 friends. Like, it's a small theater. It's like a black box. Like, we can make it feel crowded. I can call my mother. She has Alzheimer's and doesn't know where she is. So, <laughs> you can put her in a crowd, chill. Jimmy, is that you? Hey, Mom. Is the Great War still going? <laughs> no, no, the Germans lost. Oh, I hated the Nazis. Hey, Mom, do you know who you are right now? <laughs> I'm talking on the phone, you silly boy. No, but do you know where you're physically located right now? Not Austria Hungary. <laughs> do you want to come to a show later? Sure. Okay, we'll have the van come and pick you up. Remember, the Great War is over, so this time you don't need any battle armor. They still have vans. They still have custom vans. <laughs> Ma'am, I uh, I'm really, really going to need you to order a pizza or not order a pizza. <laughs> the red wire to diffuse the bomb. <laughs> Which wire did I say you should cut? The one that was all stolen -y. No! <laughs> I, uh, I just feel like after hour two, we should let you know it's $5.99 a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, who is it now? I can be your Roosevelt, I can be any felt you need. <laughs> uh, yes, mom, I am circumcised. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bring it in, guys. Bring it in. Bring it in. Yeah, I think so. Oh, Tom. Yeah. Alright. We had a hell of a quarter out there. Yeah. Oh, what do you people think we're doing? This is not some sort of competitive ballet league. We're out there to win. What are you guys out there doing? To win. <laughs> Johnson, sometimes I think the timber of your voice is distracting the team. <laughs> anyway, what are we out there to do? Johnson, the other Johnson. <laughs> I feel self-actualized and pretty, sir. <laughs> Stop reading the self-help books. Tim. Yeah. I'm afraid by your first name. What are we doing out there? I'm doing uh, time, uh, community time for, for setting firecrackers off in school. <laughs> my mom didn't tell you. You're not doing even this for the love of the game? Just the love of not jail. <laughs> Alright, boys. Brand. Closer. Oh, it's my favorite. <laughs> now look, I want you to go out there. I want you to play. I want you to play like someone's about to shoot you in the back of the head. What? Wait, is that going to happen? No, it's not going to happen. Bring it back in. 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 Okay. Okay. So that was perhaps too violent an example. I want you to play like your life depends on it. Oh, those were, so those were two indicators. My counselor told me about indicators, and that was. You have some very strong P's. I uh, I took uh, uh, elocution classes. It's neither here nor there. Look, the point is, when we go out there. I want you to run pattern A4, and that means Johnson. You pass to Johnson too. <laughs> then you dribble off to Tim, and then you just stand there and look distracting. Is that me, or did you say you? Is that both of us? I can't ever remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> the black guy. 